This is part two of trout fishing with worms. There you see why, get off that little hemlock, why I have a small fishing pole for this. Because uh, a lot of times you're going through the bush. You know, I mean, hey, you could simply roll up to the local lake. I've done that before. Uh, Draw a few worms, but um, you really want to have a good time, get more fish, you're going to have to get in it with them, you know? Work them over some. That means uh, you got to walk. <laughs> and you got to walk through the woods. It's not a big deal. But it's just the way it is. All right. Hmm. Actually, I'm a little disoriented. All right, that's actually I'm a little off the trail, but that's where I am. Hmm. I'll finally figure it out. Ah, there we go. So, we shall see. This is a very familiar river when I'm fishing today. The one yesterday uh, was less traveled by me. In fact, that's the first time I've ever fished that section. So, you know, I'm a good fisherman. I can work it out, but no one river or lake or any water is a real big advantage. You know, if you want to get the trout, like I said before, you gotta get into it. I, I can't even see where that goes. Short pole coming useful here. Sorry for this video, but this is just the nature of the beast. You try a small pull right over here, a little teeny, teeny pull. Maybe it'll produce something. God damn it. That's gonna be God damn it. Look at that. What am I caught on? I have no idea. One of the frustrating parts of fishing. Okay, that probably spoiled that pool as well. Certainly made me lose my worm. But that's just the way it is. Okay, trying to, um, I'm trying to roll this bobber into this current. It's a pretty deep pool, but we had some rain last night, so it looks all muddy too. Uh, we'll have to see. It's way out there. Just roll it in. Hopefully it'll look like something that's been caught up in the rain last night. Maybe I, I've already lost, God, two dozen worms. Maybe dace are working me over. Maybe small uh, native uh, brook trout. They've been known to do that. And they're pretty voracious feeders. They'll tend to wolf it right down. So I'm going to let it go to the... Uh, of the pool there. Well, out of the pool, found myself a nice moss seat. We're in the um, usual, kind of hard to see. Oh, there they are, shorts, my lily white legs. That moss seat's kind of nice though. Oh, still no trout. Not sure why. I lost. Two dozen worms, some taking my worms. And it's not yet. It's just the way it is. I'll keep on working. Oop, there we go. That looks like a naturalized brown trout who has decided to swallow the hook. 
sort of. He's bleeding too. Well, that's not good. Fish looks of legal size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this fish. All right, hit this last pull here. I was gonna say longer, but uh, now that I have a trout to clean, might just uh, do a little more fishing. This is last pull. There we are. This is last pull right here. And we'll see what we'll do with that trout. Anybody out there doesn't like squeamish stuff, well, you know, it is what it is. Gonna remove the guts, like this. Cut these guts out. Let's see what it's been eating. Well, it looks like it's been eating, uh, I don't know, some bugs or something like that. Eh, hell, I'll just cut the head off. I would have preferred to use the hell to keep the head on, though. Makes it easier to put the fish on a stick, but hell with it. All right. Bingo, and that's it. I'm gonna go clean this off. Next stream I pass. One stream, squish that blood out of there. And I'll use my finger right now. I'm going to uh, take some of this wood sorrel Well, that's it. That's the stuff I'm looking for. And stuff it inside the trout. Got kind of a lemony flavor. There we go. That'll probably add a little something to it. I haven't seen any wild scallions, but I'm keeping my eyes open. But uh, there's actually not a lot of this sorrel around either. Usually there's more. But I um, guess it is what it is. I'll take what I can find. All I have to start a fire with me is this fire steel, which coincidentally I'm giving ones away just like this on the ZS spring mock bug out contest so if you want your piece of the piece of the action go do an entry but right now i need this this uh birch bark to easily start my fire as i said this is new england style i'm kind of doing it at a weird angle here it's gonna make it more difficult for me to pull it off Here we go. Once again, uh, birch bark doesn't let me down. Fire steel's all right. It's okay.
Okay, I'm gonna let this fire burn down a bit. Get us some coals so we can um, start cooking that fish. <clears throat> there we are. But I noticed this one I was cleaning. I don't bother scaling it. I'm just gonna pull the skin off. It's just what I do. Some people like to run the knife down, free up some of the extra scales. I'm just gonna take the skin off. I mean, if it was do or die, I'm gonna even I'm even gonna suck on the eyeballs and <laughs> you know. There we go. Flames are starting to burn down a bit. I'll let this trout cook. That's really pretty colors on that fish. Very pretty. Kind of a shame because I wasn't looking for um I wasn't looking for that. I was looking for a hatchery trout that got into the river. You get a lot of those flow through. Naturalized uh, browns and native brookies are low on my target list, but fish is severely hooked. And I think it's gonna be good eating, so we'll see how it works out. Hot, hot coals. I really want is basically the coals. The actual fire, flames themselves, not ideal. I probably should have waited a little bit, but um, there we go. Well, keep it there for a bit longer as the flames go down. Ah. <sighs> Let you cook. Trout's cooking good. You see the flesh? It's a darker color, almost like a salmon color. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. That is really... Really nice. That's delicious. That is really wow. That's really good. I mean, just darn good. I mean, it's outstanding. You notice that the um, flesh is almost, kind of almost like a salmon's flesh. Actually, I'm using these two sticks because I don't have any. I don't need utensils. Here's what it is. Man. That's good. Pull the stick out. A little of the sorrel in there. Getting a little of the um, sweet birch. Should have chosen thin on chopsticks, but hell with it. I just want to pull the try to one shot. Yeah, I guess I can't get the bones off in one shot. It's kind of hoping to.
change actually not too bad. All right, so um, that is the end of the New England in your face worm fishing for trout video. Hope uh, everybody enjoyed it. It's kind of fun. I certainly enjoyed doing it. Always do. That's good. That's real good. Alrighto. Thanks a lot for watching.